up your Dukes because we've reached that fabulous time of the week. It is Top 5 Tuesday presented by Delta Airlines. Keep climbing as we approach the final year of BYU Football Independence. We look back at all of the amazing plays we've seen during this Independence era. Here are our top five. This is the best part of Tuesday. Number five, Tyler Algiers punch out <laughs> from last year's Arizona State game late in the third quarter. Not sure where Hall was throwing it, but Algier bails him out, chases him down. Watch 25, oh. knocks it free. There's Hall on the recovery. BYU goes on to win 27-17. That play might right there. Save the game. Got him in the job with a Falcon. Sa save the game. Number four, coming in as the Micah Miracle. Third down and long with 16 seconds left at Tennessee. Zach Wilson, 64-yard bomb to Micah Simon. How does he get that open? I don't care. He was open. They made the play. Sets up Jake Oldroyd's game-tying field goal as time expired. The Cougs would eventually beat the Vols at Neyland Stadium in double overtime. Incredible play. Unbelievable. At number three, we go to Austin, Texas. And that's Taysom Hill. He's going 30 yards. You know what's going to happen here. The touchdown is the least significant of everything on the play. Woo! That right there is the one that has him at number three. BYU goes to Austin in front of their full house and beat him 41-7. to 99 yards and three touchdowns on the ground for Taysom. And remember, he had a 68-yard touchdown called back on a questionable holding call. You were field side for this, Dave. Yeah, lost 15 pounds watching that. It was like 100 <laughs> degrees and 90% humidity. Worth it. Worth every second and pound of that misery and that heat to experience that play live. Number two, BYU in desperation mode against Boise State. Down three, it's fourth and seven. 35-yard prayer. Mitchell Jurgens, where are you? There you are. Give me that Starman celebration as well. The Cougars' second game-winning Hail Mary pass in as many weeks. Wild what an night. Unbelievable night. On the very next play, Kainakua took a pick six back to the end zone. Love it. So BYU ends winning, uh, looks like going away. 35-24, right? But all in a flash of a few seconds, and, and I'll tell you, the Bell Edwards Stadium was on fire. Yeah, Mangum paid the price for that, too, on that play. But it was only preceded by number one, Dave. Here is number one. It happened a week before. Mangum and his miracle rolling out. This is it. Cougars got to convert at the goal line to win the game. And Mitch Matthews is there. He told us on media day when he caught the ball, he wasn't sure he was in. But he looked over to the official, ruled it a touchdown. Bronco went nuts. BYU wins it 33-28. Blaine and I were just right there. You can see us on the other side of the end zone. And we, too, thought, was he in? Was he in? Then the call came, and those loyal BYU fans in that stadium went bananas. What a moment. Unbelievable. Top five play all time at BYU and the top play in 11 seasons of independence. Will we see something good enough to crack the top five in the final year of BYU football's so. independence? I Me, hope too. So. Me, too. Me, <laughs> too.